Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mon, and today we will learn about fractions, equivalent fractions. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog maxgrad.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSC, ICC and other textbooks. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn about fractions and solve some try these questions and topic is equivalent fractions. Let's solve some questions. Now we will solve the try these questions of equivalent fraction. The question is are 1 divided by 3 and 2 divided by 7 equivalent or not? Give reasons. We have to verify the one the fraction 1 divided by 3 and 2 divided by 7. These two fractions are equivalent or not. We have to find out the equivalent fraction of this given fraction 1 divided by 3 and 2 divided by 7. These are equivalent or not. We have to find out. We have to verify. 1 divided by 3 and 2 divided by 7. First we have to uh, we have to find out the LCM. When we find out the equivalent fraction. First we, first we find out the LCM, that is the low, lowest common multiple, least common multiple is the non denominator 3 and 7 is 21. Here 3 and 7, both are prime number. So when both are prime number, then the LCM will be the multiply the, multiply that both the number, that is 3 multiplied by 7. 3 multiplied by 7 is 21. And this is the LCM of the denominator 3 and 7. Now 1 divided by 3. This is the fraction given. And we have to find out the equivalent fraction of this fraction 1 divided by 3. 1 divided by 3 and 2 divided by 7 are equivalent or not. So multiply. Which we have to find out the number that will multiply the denominator 3 we get the LCM that is equal to 21. In the table, 3 table, we multiply this number 7 with denominator 3, we get 21. So, denominator 3 multiplied with 7, we get 21 in denominator which is equal to the LCM of the denominator 3 and 7. Now, multiply the numerator 1 with the number we have to multiply the number 7 then 1 multiplied with 7 is 7 and 7 divided by 21 is the equivalent fraction of the fraction 1 divided by 7 3 1 divided by 3 and 7 divided by 21 21 are the equivalent fractions now 2 divided by 7 we have to find out the number that we multiply the denominator 7, we get the LCM that is 21. In the table, in the 7 table, we multiply the number 7 with 3, we get 21. So now we have to multiply the same number 3 in numerator also. So multiply the number 3 in numerator 2. We get 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. And denominator 7 multiplied by 3 is 21. Now 6 divided by 21 and the 2 divided by 7 both are equivalent fraction. In, in the first fraction 1 divided by 3 equal to 7 divided by 21. But in the fraction 2 divided by 7 which is equal to 6 divided by 21. Here 7 divided by 21 is not equal to 6 divided by 21. So these two fractions 1 divided by 3 and 2 divided by 7 are not equivalent. If the numerator are different 7 is not equal to 6. So these two fractions are not equivalent. 
so 1 divided by 3 and 2 divided by 7 are not equivalent fraction give reasons why because here the numerator 7 is not equal to 6 Now second questions are 2 divided by 5 and 2 divided by 7 equivalent or not and give reasons. Here we have to verify the fractions 2 divided by 5 and 2 divided by 7 are equivalent or not. First to find out the LCM that is the least common multiple of the denominator 5 and 7. LCM of 5 and 7 is 5 multiplied by 7 that is 35. Here both 5 and 7 are prime numbers. So we have to multiply the numbers 5 and 7. We get the number 35. That is the LCM of this denominator 5 and 7. Now we have to find out the equivalent fraction of this first fraction 2 divided by 5. We have to find out the number that we multiply the denominator 5. We get the number 35 that is equal to the LCM. In the table 5, we multiply the number 5 with 7, we get 35. So, you have to multiply the same number 7 in numerator of this fraction 2 divided by 5. Here numerator is 2, so you have to multiply the number 7 with numerator 2. And 2 multiplied by 7 is 14. 14 divided by 35. This is the equivalent fraction of this fraction 2 divided by 5. Both 2 divided by 5 and 14 divided by 35 are the equivalent fractions. Now we have to find out the equivalent fraction of 2 divided by 7. In the table 7, we have to multiply the number 5 we get the number 35 which is the equal to the LCM of the denominator 5 and 7. So, we have to multiply the number 5 in denominator 7 which denominator 7 that is 7. Multiply the number 5 with the denominator of this fraction 2 divided by 7. Denominator is 7. So, 7 multiplied with 5 is 35 and 35 is equal to the LCM of this denominator 5 and 7. Here we multiply the numbers 5. So we have to multiply the same number 5 in denominator of the fraction 2 divided by 7. And numerator is numerator we have to multiply the numerator 2 with the number 5. 2 multiplied with 5 is 10. Now we get the fraction 10 divided by 35. And 10 divided by 35 and 2 divided by 7 both are equivalent fractions. 10 divided by 35 is the equivalent fraction of 2 divided by 7. In this fraction 2 divided by 5, we get 14 divided by 35 and 2 divided by 7, we get 10 divided by 35. Both are not equal. 14 divided by 35 is not equal to 10 divided by 35 because the numerator 14 is not equal to 10. Both are different. So, 2 divided by 5 and 2 divided by 7 are not equivalent fraction. Give reasons. Why? Because the numerator here in 2 divided by 5, we get the numerator 14 in the equivalent fraction. That is 14 divided by 35. Numerator is 14. And in 2 divided by 7, we get 10 in the numerator of the equivalent fraction 10 divided by 35. 14 is not equal to 10. So, the fractions 2 divided by 5 and 2 divided by 7 are not equivalent fractions.
So what is friction? We have to multiply the same number in both the numerator and denominator. The friction that we get is called the equivalent friction of the given section. Now question number 3 is R2 divided by 9 and 6 divided by 27 is equivalent or not and give results. We have to check the norm fraction 2 divided by 9 and 6 divided by 27 are equivalent or not. First we have to find out the LCM of the denominator 9 and 27. The prime factorization of 9 is 9 is 3 multiplied with 3 and 27 prime factorization is 3 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 3. And here 3, 3 is in 27 and 2, 3 is in 9. So the least common multiple of 9 and 27 will be 3 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 3 that is 27. And 27 is the LCM of 9 and 27. 9 and 27 LCM is 27. Now we have to find out the equivalent fraction of the fraction 2 divided by 9. Which number, what is the number that we multiply the denominator 9, we get the LCM 27. We have to multiply in the table, 9 table. The number 3, we multiply the 3 with 9, we get 27, which is, which is the LCM of the denominator 9 and 27. In denominator, we multiply the number 3. So, we have to multiply the same number 3 in the numerator of 2 divided by 9. And numerator is 2, so we have to multiply the numerator 2 with 3, we get 6. And 6 divided by 27 is the equivalent fraction of the fraction 2 divided by 9. Both 2 divided by 9 and 6 divided by 27 are equivalent fraction. So 2 so 2 divided by 9 and 6 divided by 27 are equivalent fraction. 2 divided by 9 and 6 divided by 27 are equivalent fraction. 2 divided by 9 equal to 6 divided by 27. Both are equivalent fraction. give regions. Why? Because your numerator is also 6 and denominator also 27 which is equal to the equivalent fraction of 2 divided by 9. subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you if you like this video then please click the like button and share this if you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel thank you